Hi, brothers and sisters. I hope you are doing well today. I just got out of my prayer closet, and the Lord was speaking to me, and I asked if I could share what he was speaking to me, and it felt like it was a message, not just for me anyways, but he, he released me to be able to share it. I'm going to go ahead and read it. I may touch on some things um, so that maybe if it's hard for you to understand of exactly what he may be talking about with some different conversations I was going into with him. So he was talking to me about that. So um, this he starts off saying, "Man thinks he can he man thinks that he controls all things, but he doesn't. It is I who controls. It is I who says when war happens. Many had dreams on the U.S. being attacked. The Lord." postponed that for the sake of his elect. War is coming. War is coming. War is coming. Men think they have all the answers. They want to look like gods with everyone's eyes on them for answers. They only look like fools when what they say don't come to pass. It is I who is God. It is I. It is I who controls what the universe does. It is I for the... It is for the sake of my precious few elect that will receive me while I hold off on destruction. I am taking my bride out. When man, that man can go along with his plans, why many try to become like gods wanting their names to go down in history. They don't realize their names will go down with them in the lake of fire. They think they can destroy my creation and receive a reward. But their reward is their destruction. My child, don't pray for those who take the V. They all have been warned. Everyone is without excuse. Okay, so when I went into, when I, before I went into prayer, the Lord knew there was a few things on my heart. And uh, then he talked to me uh, about other things that I totally forgot about, which I'll go over that. So, uh, man thinks that he controls, um, he's talking about war. A lot of people have had dreams that America is going to be attacked. And the Lord basically was saying, which I totally forgot about that, but the Lord brought it to my memory and he explained that he postponed that because there's a few children here who, uh, were, are, are to receive him. That's the only reason why his bride is still here. His bride is only here because of the few that are left it that are going to receive him. We're not going to be here very much longer. Yesterday, I don't know if I said it in my last video, yesterday, as soon as I opened my eyes yesterday morning, the urgency was in me as Jesus is coming. Okay, we got to get the word out. We got to, we got to, got to go hard. He's coming. So that was on me as soon as I woke up yesterday. And I've been feeling Oh, I'm feeling it now. I've been feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit really strong for the past couple of days. He's speaking, and uh, he's speaking to his church, and he's pulling us out. We're 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 almost done. We're out of here. Um, and he was speaking to me about a solar flare. Uh, I've heard something about power is supposed to go out. The Lord brought me. I I took it to him a prayer a couple of days ago. Didn't know what it was. I just heard about a uh, power outage. Lord came to me, or he came to me in prayer closet and had said, he put two questions to me. Is it punishment and are my children uh, subject to punishment? And I knew the answer for those were no. But there was supposed to be a solar flare today. It was supposed to happen at midnight and at six o'clock in the morning. It was supposed to affect the world. And it was supposed to affect us in such a big way, like power going out, you know, it being dark. And the Lord was speaking to me about uh, man doesn't choose. He chooses. He chooses what his universe does. They don't make the choice. They only look like fools when they make statements and stuff don't happen. So he just keeps reassuring me that um, nothing's going to happen to his children while we're here. He's, he's going to protect us. So, um, you know, and then he reminds me, and he's said it before, pray for people not to take the V, but don't pray for people who take it. 
They take it. They've already brought on their destruction. We all know it's... Everybody's been warned. There's been enough people. Everybody knows somebody who's warned and put the word out about taking it. At this point, you can only pray for people not to take it, for people's eyes to be open, or for them to just be bold and brave, for them to come to know Jesus. If they take it, their destruction is upon them. You know, in Revelation, it talks about sores will break out on people who take the mark in the end days. Why would a sore break out on them? It's because something within their body, it's, it's, it's from what's going to be put in their body that doesn't belong there. It's going to cause everybody to to break out. Not only that, it's also because you won't know, you won't be controlled by yourself, but by a 5G tower. You'll be a remote control controlling you. Um, people will have to say how long you live or die. You're, it can be turned off or it can be left on. People who want to die, they'll try to commit suicide and won't be able to because you're no longer 100% human. You're controlled by a robot. You know, it talks about that in the Bible. People will be trying to die and they won't be able to. Why won't they be able to? Well, because you're not going to be 100% human anymore. All these things I say, please take it to prayer. Like I said, these, it is 100% uh, time. And you can't take anybody's word for anything. You need to take it to prayer. These are just what I'm hearing when I'm sitting in the presence of God. I am human though. I am flawed. So that's why I say take it to prayer. Let God confirm things within you. I do know that our time is almost up. I know we have mere moments before we are taken out. So pray for those who you love to receive Jesus while they still can. Um, I will talk with you guys soon. If not, I will see you in the clouds. Bye.